In this video, I'll be showing you a lot of useful tips for beginners and newer players that'll help you progress quicker throughout Payday 3. At level 39 or 40, I highly recommend picking up the VF7S Featherlight, which is a scar, and it's very powerful, high damage. You get it really low level, and you unlock it at level 77. This is one of the best preset weapons you could buy. You get it super early. Once you unlock the scar, you are also able to get attachments for it before you unlock the base scar and do challenges so you're able to get attachments and progress the weapon through challenges without even owning it you just need 20 mil if you follow my guide on road rage you'll basically get that very quickly starting out as a new player in payday 3 you might feel a bit overwhelmed with the skill tree but what you should do as you're leveling up and playing through the missions i would highly recommend putting researching on every single one of your trees along with putting a point in each one when you put a point in each one, even if it just has one point, it'll still level the tree up all the way to the big node at the end. So just make sure when you're running heist with your friends to put a lot of these on. This will speed up the time it takes to get a lot of your skills maxed out and you won't have to worry about grinding as long and you can just get these done quickly so you can try out builds you like. If you don't have them unlocked at all, just make sure you click research on one of the ones you want first and then after every single one it'll just go down the line and keep researching them or you could choose for yourself if you want a certain perk. With doing this, you will have your progression and skills filled out very quickly so I highly recommend it. There is a perk in Payday 3 that I think everybody should be using, no matter what build you're running. Under the tank tree, you want to be taking this first one here, along with armor up, which will give you an extra plate every time you pick up a plate from one of your friend's armor bags. It saves you a lot of plates, and you'll be picking up two plates for the price of one every time, and it's a lot easier, so I definitely recommend taking this perk. In Payday 3 for your tool slot, there isn't many good options for loud, but the two best options would be Infrastronic Mine, which just stuns enemies in a circle, and you just keep spamming it, and you can basically have them CC'd forever, or Motion Sensor, which lets you see them through walls for a short period of time, which can also help you have the jump on them, with the difference of on Overkill, someone basically beaming you, so it could help. Under the Vendors... Steggy Currency Broker, you'll see C-Stacks. You want to buy as many as you can because there are attachments that do cost C-Stacks and if you want to max out a weapon or use a certain attachment, you are going to need these. On top of attachments, you could also get presets with the C-Stacks, which aren't really good. The only one I would recommend is the Scar at the moment because I haven't tried a lot of the other ones out. But the Scar is very good and it only costs 20 mil. It doesn't even cost C-Stacks. C-Stacks will also get you gloves as well as other cosmetics such as charms. Before you start up a mission, because I know a lot of us forget, I would go to your vendors, scroll all the way down, and buy ammo bag, armor bag, medic bag, and a zipline bag. I've forgotten a bunch of times to bring these, so I would just buy a bunch of them before you go into your heist, just in case you do forget, you'll have them ready and you can just throw them on anywhere. This is very important to know, as in Payday 2, I'm pretty sure you would get XP for heists in general. Just every heist you would do, you would receive XP no matter what. But now, you stop receiving XP from heists once you complete all the challenges from it. And what I do recommend doing is going to your weapon challenges, looking through all of these, and swapping your loadout accordingly depending on what you need for your challenges to make it easier to level up because all this gives you is infamy points which is xp a lot of people might be confused on this so i thought i would put it as a tip just so people know to do challenges challenges are super important and it'll get you to the highest level possible and it'll help you level up even faster for most people you should be running the armor bag armor bag is one of the best deployables especially if you have the perks to get extra inside of it and then people have the perks for armor up to get two plates out of one use then you will never die basically it makes overkill a lot easier the medic bag and ammo bag i don't think are that useful maybe ammo bag is useful but the only two things i would be using is armor bag or sentry turret if you want to do a sentry turret build but overall armor will save you at the end of the day because if you do get chipped away at your armor you can basically be one shot from anything when you do get hit on your health bar it goes down very quick Sentry turret also is very helpful. It pulls aggro, keeps damage up, and clears out packs pretty quickly with the right perks. Another great perk to pair with tank and armor up, I would go sharpshooter as well for edge and cutting shot to always have armor penetration up because it is very good for overkill and the damage output helps a lot. You could ace this too. It's really good for your build. Performing a headshot while aiming down sights will refresh your edge, which just keeps it up constantly and you'll always have armor pen. Paired with something like turret's armor pen and shooting at the same enemy, you will basically just wipe away their health bar and it makes it so much easier. 
a really good way in Payday 3 to get these challenges done, especially for combat with the dozers and all the weapon kills and everything here. You're going to want to bring anything you need for your challenges, so either if it's a gun, an overkill weapon, if it's a tool, throwable, or a deployable, you're going to bring whatever you need and just keep farming it constantly. This is going to be for that. You go to Heist, you click Road Rage, you put it on Normal, and put it Invite Only. Make sure you have the loadout on that you need. By the way, I haven't stealthed any missions. I've only leveled up from doing Road Rage and doing other loud mechanics to progress through challenges. I haven't done anything besides that, so I'm level 66 only from doing this. You can do this on a lot of other missions, but I do recommend it on Road Rage. And all you want to do is you want to start this. You don't need anybody in your lobby. You could do it with friends if you want, but it doesn't really matter. You're just going to start the mission like you're doing it normally. If you do have a suppressed weapon, you could just shoot the civilians. You don't have to deal with them. Now this hacking device does have three spawns, this is one of them, one here, and there's also a third spawn under the construction. When you're playing with the AI on your team, there is a certain way to get them to come to you if they do run away. You can just hold down your scroll wheel or whatever button it is on PlayStation or Xbox. If you hit follow me, they will come to you or wait here. It's a good way to control the AI a little bit. They're still kind of dumb either way, but it does help, especially for objectives when they won't listen. Definitely take an ammo box for more ammo when doing this. And also the bots will drop them for you, just like he did right there. But when playing on normal, you definitely don't need the armor or the armor up perks. You could just mainly go for skill leveling and challenges. That's all you need to do, especially because they give you XP and you'll level up from doing this. For a challenge farming build... I would recommend something like this with ammo specialist, scrounger, fully loaded, high grain, top up. You're going to want to take sharpshooter with aced, cutting shot for armor pen, speed aim, rush, aced, swift for extra base sprinting, just to be quicker, enforcer aced, quick reload, face to face, and if you have extra points, I'd go for something like strategist with combat marking so you can kill dozers quicker if you're going for dozer kills and you need a lot of them but besides that this is very good for just constantly running through staying in heist for 20 30 minutes make sure you have ammo bag on and that's really it everything else change to your liking or what you need to level up make sure you're changing every part of your loadout when you need new challenges and just escape at the very end of road rage it's all about challenges with this so if you do need challenges or want to level up quicker definitely try this when you get to the end here, signal the flare. You're going to wait for the getaway. When it shows final charge at the top after securing the loot into the helicopter, and it gives you the option to escape, this will be where you can farm and constantly get kills, constantly get dozer kills, constantly get whatever you need for challenges. This is one of my favorite methods to do it because there's a spot right here where you could just sit back here and nothing really happens. You're just going to leave the final charge. You're not going to escape and you're just going to keep killing as many as you need with different loadouts when you need to swap loadouts you could just let yourself die or you could escape and then you can just go to the next one just overall progressing your account further and further to get more weapons there is tons of special enemies there's tons of dozers that spawn you'll constantly have something that you can get done here and it's definitely worth doing you know i'm breaking my game right now hmm i can shake my <laughs> <laughs> These are the spools of doom, dude. Funny noise. Funny noise. But I feel like I'm about to like eclipse into the next realm, so I want to see if it may be something. Oh, jump sighting is so much better. It feels like it moves further. The jugs come in really quick. Oh yeah, jug, look how fast they spawn. Another one just spawned. The final tip is an exploit founded by Swellhell. At the end of Stealth 99 boxes, if you go in and out of the circle multiple times as seen in the recorded gameplay in the background, at the end you'll receive a massive amount of XP for your weapon and basically max it out in one run. But if you do do it, don't forget to name it after me.